Okay guys, we got a 1996 Toyota Camry here. Now on this brake system, this master cylinder, this front line right here goes to the driver's front and the passenger's rear. And then this side line right here, that goes to the passenger's front and driver's rear. Um, and so what was going on, if you have a little bit of pressure in one master or one caliper, you can probably assume it's a bad caliper. But in this particular instance, and you can disconnect the line behind the caliper to see if you have good flow to determine that. Uh, in front of the caliper on the bleeding screw if the low pressure is there. In this case, this uh, passenger's front and driver's rear um, had low pressure. And so we disconnected the line going to the caliper instead of just checking the bleeder and same thing. The other two were fine. So that tells us the master cylinder was bad. And then we disconnected this line here and pumped it up and we had lots of pressure. We disconnected this line and pumped it up and we had no pressure coming out of the master cylinder. So we know it's a bad master cylinder. So we're gonna change the master cylinder. Now, on this car, um, we'll get to doing it here in just a second. Uh, NM52734 is the one we needed. Um, the one thing that I noticed is that if you have um, I can't remember. Let me, let me double check the specs. Okay, just double checked it. This one is without anti-lock brakes. If you have anti-lock brakes, then you're gonna want this one. It has that little tab right there. Um, if you look on this one, I can't show you on the one on the car, but uh, let me open this box. Okay, so this is the one here. There's no tab right there, did you see that? So this car does not have anti-lock brakes. If your car has anti-lock brakes, then you are gonna want this one right here. And let me click on the image here to show you what the tab I'm talking about right here, right there. So if you have anti-lock brakes, then you're gonna need that part number, which is NM52735. So, uh, so that we made that clear now, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm gonna do is pull off the two lines and then we'll disconnect the tabs going into the brake booster from the master cylinder. There should be two nuts there. Okay guys, so you really wanna use a line wrench like this when cracking loose those lines. Um, it's a 10 millimeter and I don't have a 10 millimeter and I got lucky that they actually loosened up for me. But if you're worried that you might end up stripping them, then definitely use a line wrench. That'll, that'll make it a heck of a lot better that you don't strip them. Again, I got lucky. So let's go ahead and pull both of these lines off. And uh, I got a rag laying underneath there for this to drip on. And then we'll get the 12 millimeter there and the 12 millimeter here. Okay, so both those lines are off and now you can see the first 12 is right there. The second 12, you have this bracket here that you're gonna move out of the way. And that's the 12 you want there. And of course your clip right here too, that's for your brake light switch. You're gonna unclip that and pull it off. Okay, let's get those 12s out of there. Okay, so we're using an extension here with a swivel down at the end so we can get way up in here or out of the way. It's just gonna make it a whole lot easier to do it for you. Otherwise, you're gonna be moving air breather and lines and hoses and such. So if you have that extension and the swivel, that's gonna be fantastic. You hey guys, so we're gonna do a quick bench bleed on this. You don't have to bench bleed it. You can bleed it on the car. It just takes longer to bleed the system if you don't. Um, this stuff comes in the box. So what this stuff is, is you're gonna thread one here you're gonna thread one in here. You're gonna connect the hoses to this and into the lid and I'll get them set up. When we're done bleeding it, we'll put these blue caps on these and take them over there. That way they don't drip out anything. We don't lose fluid and we can just disconnect it here and hook up the line rather quickly. So let's go ahead and start the process of bench bleeding. So we have those both screwed in. We have the lines connected and we're just gonna poke that down in there. Now let's fill this up to the level. Uh, you can actually go a little higher, go up to this rim here with the fluid because that distance there will be in the cylinder itself. And then we're gonna push in and out on this. As the fluid pumps through, it'll just put it back in so we don't waste it and it'll remove all the air out of the master cylinder and uh, put fluid in its place. That's good. And now we got the fluid in there. You can see it at that level there. And now we'll just push this in and out. Make sure that the hoses stay inside the fluid. We're gonna have to put a little more fluid in there. And then uh, all we're gonna do is just push this in and out, filling it full of fluid. And you see the air moving out of the lines and into the reservoir. So let me top this off and we'll just pump that until we see all clear fluid and no air. 
Okay, so we're done bench plating it. Now we use this big container here and it's probably still, yeah, a little over half full. So that's quite a bit considering it only used about an eighth of a bottle to fill the reservoir so that the master cylinder itself is holding at least as much as that reservoir, maybe a little more. So, all right, we're ready to put this on. Let's put our caps on. Okay, put the black cap on the top, the two blue ones on the side, and our reservoir is, it's a little bit high. You can see right there on the max. And so that's, that's pretty good because we're going to have a little bit in the lines when we put it back on. So let's go ahead and throw this back on and put our two 12 millimeter nuts back on and get these lines connected. Then I'll show you what we're going to do to bleed the lines that go to the calipers. Uh, two 12s on there. Now let's go ahead and take loose our plastic bleeder nuts with caps and let's put our lines back on the 10 millimeters. We got both those lines on there and uh, of course the nuts are down. So now we're ready to bleed the brakes. It's just going to start from the one furthest from the reservoir, which would be the passenger back. And then we'll bleed that one. Then we'll go to the driver's side back. Then we'll go to passenger's front. That's further than the other one. And the last one, of course, will be closest to the reservoir. That way we're getting all the air from as far back as possible first and moving it up here. And then we'll get the air out. So all we're going to do is just pump on the brakes about four times and hold it. Have somebody help you. And then we'll crack loose the bleeder line. Let the fluid leak out. It'll kind of spray out. And just do it one, two, three times until you don't see any more air. Normally it takes about three tries. So we'll go ahead and get to bleeding them now. Bleeder screw right there. And so now what we're going to do is just have someone pump on the brakes. And we will, uh, let me tap on it so you can see right there. And so just hold the wrench on it and then say go ahead and let that person pump three or four times and hold it tight to the floor and then just crack it loose and then uh, hurry up and tighten it back up. Only let enough fluid and air to come out to see whether it's a stream of fluid or air. It's literally going to be crack tighten about that speed. So let's go ahead and get that process started. Okay, he's on the floor now. He pumped him up and now I'm going to crack it loose. See it barely come out. And now I'll tighten it back up. Go ahead. Now he's going to pump it up. Okay. He's down. I'll crack it loose. And try to get on there where you can see it. That was a pretty good stream. We'll do it one more time. Go ahead. Okay. He's down. Beautiful. And I cut it back off. So nowhere on this line. We'll go to the next one. Okay, so we got all four of them done there, and now the brakes are working great. So, I hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe, click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos, and as always, guys, enjoy.